What's happening everybody? This is the Travel and Salvation Show here. We renovate, we resell, and we travel around while we do it. Here today, we are in Eatonton, Georgia. It's the V. I've never been to a Veterans of Foreign War thrift store, but that's what we're doing today. Now, I just showed you the address and the phone number if you indeed want to come as well. So obviously, we are reselling, so let's do it. Let's see what we can find to sell on eBay. Let's see, Orvis sweater. I don't know if that's brand new or not. I think that's there today, but $5.99. I was like, yeah. Never heard of Brandini before, but these do really well. 17 listed, 20 sold. About 40 bucks. We'll pay $7.99. They got underwear. I, hey, I'm not, nah. Used to see hats like this in the gas station all the time. Kind of novelty has. This is my gun jamming, deer losing, deer missing hunting cap. Go ahead and grab that because vintage camouflage hats do well for me. Sell them pretty quick, especially new ones, but I don't know, maybe that one will go good. Let's see a Nike bag right off the bat. Let's see what we got. Nike golf bag, 20 bucks. And it says 10.99, so. Oh, that's kind of a little rough. I have to look them up to see it. Does have the cover to it, but we'll take a good bit of cleaning. These aren't gone for as much as they were. I'll look it up and see. It's probably going to take a while for us to get through all this. This is a big place, and they have a lot, a lot of stuff. Let's see if I can get this Polo Ralph Lauren. Looks like it's in good shape for five ninety nine. Sales are the rates are really good. There's like six fifty sold, seven hundred listed. And yeah, this is a women's. This should do pretty good though, $5.99. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna take a chance on both of these. Wittenauer, $1.99. Accutron Boulevard, maybe. I'm only $24.99. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. No, I can get $24.99 at least for it. I walked past the stool a couple of times. So I knew that it was just too unique to pass up. I was gonna get it regardless, but I'm done a little bit of research really quick. And I think it's a Frederick Weinberg, Frederick Weinberg stool from the fifties. And it may be worth a lot of money for $10. I can't pass it up, even though I don't have room for it. Look at that thing. It is too cool. And it is just, it has the age on it, but super cool. Look at that seat. Still the original seat. I'm sure I doubt that's a real free upholster, but we're going to get that thing. There's a kid's top flight golf set for 20 bucks. I have just had a terrible time selling those, actually. That one in particular don't seem to sell that well. This whatever model this is, XLJ. And it took me like a year to sell the ones I had. So I'll go pass on those. I almost left these behind. They're three darts, compliments at Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Just had to look them up. They're in rough shape, but I went ahead and looked them up and I saw one sold for $81. Just like this, or just about like this. So we're gonna get that. Lo and behold, there were two stools. This one, well, it ain't that bad. I thought I saw a little crack in the uh, material here, but I guess it was just this little edge right here where the wood starts. But I think these are some expensive stools. If I am mistaken, I know I can still get some good money for them, more than 20 bucks. But I think these, I forgot the name, Frederick Weiner. It's the name, I think. And I've kind of identified them, but these are old. These are definitely from, man, these are probably 40s or 50s or something like that. They've been painted over multiple times, but I think I did good on these. I will research them some more and see. And Rebecca got a belt. Yeah, Come about does it? Uh, it's an Orvis belt. It says made in USA. I don't know if all their stuff is made in USA, but I can get 25 to 30 for it. I had to put the Orvis sweater I picked up at first back. It had a huge hole in the back. I also picked up a few more of these little vintage hats. They ended up being 99 cents each. I was telling Rebecca they used to have these in the gas stations for like five bucks a piece. You could buy them at any time. So I picked up three of them. And at a dollar a piece, you know, if I even sold them for five, I'd be doing well. But these are super cool. 80, 90 bucks. That's crazy, man. I, I will have to, uh, I'll put the screenshot up here so you won't think I'm lying. Everybody always thinks you're lying when you score big. 
It's definitely old. They got the age on them. You can see the tack here. Somebody actually painted these seats, I think. Or maybe they were staining that color afterwards. Who knows? But look at those old tacking. This is definitely old stuff here. I think I, I think I hooked up with those. Around the corner and over the railroad tracks, and we are at the Putnam Christian Outreach. Let's see if we can find something in here. I'm going to buy that Bulliba watch right there because I know it's real because right there, that B&W, that is the Brown and Williamson symbol. They, uh, they used to make tobacco in making, so someone got a, that watch from Brown and Williamson for smoking 20 million cartons of cigarettes and working there for 20 years. We're gonna get that for 20 bucks. Those people were super nice in there. We typically don't take food, but they were literally begging us to get this stuff out of their store. I guess it will just go stale. Got the Boulevard watch. What'd you get? I got a Kipling wallet for $2 and I can get 25 for it. And I got a cool K-U-H-L vest for $4 and I can get 40 to 50 for it. We're gonna eat the food. And the Boulevard watch, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. I will definitely get more than $20 on it. And again, I know it's real because it's a Brown and Williamson retirement watch. Maybe you can remove that pin or something. At least a hundred bucks, I would think. This is Sisters Christian Thrift Store. It's perfect. We actually have been here before really, really well. Hopefully we'll do the same today. Didn't find anything today. There was a guy that came in and started scanning CDs with one of those CD scanner things. I've never, I don't know about that, you know. Looking through all those CDs, hundred of them. I may try it one day. I may get a scanner and see, but I cannot imagine that scanning through a hundred CDs would even be worth one or two C one or two hundred dollar CDs. I mean, I know you can make a lot of money reselling CDs, but I think that's better like having a knowledge of what sells and perhaps going into a different record stores or CD stores or something like that that sell stuff like that and you can get it at a better price and you can kind of go straight to it and look for what you know is good but i cannot imagine scanning hundreds of cds from store to store to store would bring you that much money really uh -uh. must though all right we are at a small little goodwill in eatonton or milledgeville actually this is where i went to college at and milledgeville. that is cool and borderline worth it old ping leather golf bag Probably get about 50, 60 bucks for that. But after you pay for it and clean it all up, it really wouldn't be worth it. So even though it's cool, we're going to leave it behind. Depending on how much they are and what they sell for, I may get those white Air Max there. I'm going to look at these boots too. I'm not sure. Not sure about those boots. They look kind of nice, but those will sell probably. I did not get the Nikes and I did not get the boots, but I did get this hair removal thing. And the cashier was so nice to test it for me. It's an IBL. I don't know if I showed it. I'm trying to get it out of the bag now. I thought I showed it in that glass container. Maybe I did. Look at this. Oh, I can scan laser? you down with this. Yeah, it's a laser hair removal thing. I think it'll go for over a hundred bucks used. There's some of them are like 200 bucks used. Some are like 300 new, 400 new IBL. BAI or something like that. And the lady said she turned it on while I was walking through the store. She like turned it on. She said, it comes on and works if you still want it. And I was like, yeah, I still want it, of course. So $13, definitely, the sales rates are good on these things. So I definitely did good on this. This is called Another Choice Thrift Store. It looks very confusing to get into, but it's only one car here. So not a lot of competition. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, can't put it in there. I put it in the back. I got this awesome new kids on the block framed original poster. Saw one there for sale for about a hundred bucks, but I saw one sold actually this particular one for about 30 bucks. So we'll do 30 on that. Maybe we'll list it for high and I'll, I'll fix this little thing here. We'll list it high and see what we can get for it. But boy, new kids on the block. Look at that. Look at that thing. That place. I wonder what that used to be. I wonder if that was an old mansion house service. Like it may have been a hospital or something like that, or a school maybe or something. But there's their Maranatha thrift store, and that's where we're headed. Not looking so good. Place is struggling a little bit here. The books are actually 10 
for a dollar, 10 books for a dollar. So I'm going to grab all these MCAT books and I'll get anywhere for about 30 to 50 for these. These sell really good. That wasn't too bad. We did get a couple of things, or Rebecca got a couple of things that I didn't actually say how much. I think she got a belt, an Orvis belt, and get 25 ish bucks for it. And right where we just left at, she got an LL Bean t shirt, which I had no idea. LL Bean t shirt good, did good, but she get about 20 bucks for it too, and I think paid a dollar for it. So overall, seven thrift stores or six thrift stores today, not too bad. Folks, if you like it, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell. Hit all the bells and whistles. Whistles? We wish you would hit all the thumbs and bells and whistles and the subscribe button as well. Until the next time, keep thrifting.